Hey YouTube, welcome back to your another native script video. My name is Mehul and in this video we're gonna take a look at how to set up native script for Android and uh, make sure you have subscribed to the channel if you want to receive notifications and press the bell icon for notifications for further videos. So let's get into it. Um, let's just set up native script for Android and for that what you need to do is just type Android Studio first of all because you need to download this now it would work pretty much the same if you're on Windows Linux Mac does not really matter just download this Android Studio install it you know do that regular stuff next 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 and once you have done that you should be able to open a new project just create a new project inside android studio and somehow arrive to this screen right here right maybe not really this screen but this particular interface so that you're able to you know click on this sdk manager and stuff right so once you have done that what you could do is basically if you want an emulator you could first of all you just have to install Android 8.1 I think um, you I think native script works on, on Android 8.1 just fine because it has worked for me so far you could just install these couple of ones as well I don't really know which with which native script is fully compatible but it worked for me out of the box so I think these three one of these three is one what native script uses right you also have to install Android SDK build tools and Android SDK tools right other than that if you want an emulator or something for your android just go ahead and install an emulator like create a virtual device and you know just create that particular emulator otherwise you could pretty much use your um default not really default your regular android device as well all right so once you have downloaded android studio and set it up what you have to do is configure one more thing that is android home variable so linux mac os guys follow with me with those guys i'm gonna get back to you pretty soon what do you have to do if you're on linux or mac um just go ahead and first of all just make sure you are running uh, you know what you're running at least right i'm running something known as zsh terminal right you might be most probably running a bash terminal so what you have to do is just take a look at if you have you know a bash rc bash um, profile on mac right or on linux it should be a bash rc file or if you have a zsh zsh rc file basically but obviously if you are using zsh you would be aware about it right since i'm using zsh i'm gonna do echo right and what i'm gonna do is just say export android home is equal to and this path right here right here right so what this is you can find this in the description i would just leave it since i'm on mac i'm going to use home my username then android slash sdk if you're on linux you have to you oh this is actually for linux so um since i'm on mac i'm going to use the second one right so if you're on Linux, you have to use um, that one, which I just pasted earlier, right? So if on Linux, if you're on Linux, just use home username Android SDK, replace your username with this. If you're on Mac, use this. Windows guys, just hold on a second. I'll let you know what to do, what to do. Once you do that, just do just this double, you know, just append this to you whatever file you have set as hrc in my case you would if you're on mac and you have never touched your terminal configuration you have most likely bash profile right just do bash profile mac os guys on linux guys you have to do bash rc and if you are using a custom terminal just like in my case you have to do that particular terminal rc file right once you do that just run source and then whatever file you modified. In my case, it was ZSHRC, right? So now if you do echo dollar Android home, you should be able to see your path. Now this is required by native script to build your, um, to use actually Android SDK in order to build your application, right? 
Windows guys, since I don't have Windows at the moment, follow the instructions on the screen. You have to create an environment variable which you could pretty much get access to by right clicking your my computer, going to properties, looking inside some general tab. Don't worry, you have all the instructions on the screen and uh, creating that uh, environment variable with the value as Android home and then set it equal to this path right here right once you do that you should be pretty much good enough as well make sure you restart your terminals your command lines all of you all windows guys if you're on, if you're on linux or mac you should you could just pretty much just run this and you should be good to go all right so once you have done that all of you just do tns run android yeah, that's pretty much it. If you are, if you want to run this on emulator, just do emulator here. But since I have my device connected with me, I'm just gonna do TNS run Android and hit enter. It's gonna build your Android application and run it, deploy it, do whatever the heck it wants to do. So you see, once your app is installed and done, you should see a message like this, successfully synced application, package name on device ID. And now you should be able to see on your device that your app is successfully launched and pretty much um, this is just holding it right here so that you could make some changes here and they would reflect live on your device as well pretty much like live reloading so yeah i think that's all for this video if you liked it again don't forget to subscribe press the bell icon and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one